everyone. So let's look at um, some acid and base concepts um, that we've introduced in, um, in this theme. So we're specifically interested in identifying um, Bronsted, Lowry acid and bases and their conjugate pairs in the following reactions. So we're given a couple of reactions and what we want to do is just discuss the concept of which um, of these uh, reactants acts as the Bronsted acid and which one acts as the Bronsted base and then of course link them on the product side to their um, subsequent uh, conjugate pairs. So I've just rewritten the reactions down here below to give us some space to work with. So if we look at this first um, reaction, um, you will maybe you recognize the reaction or the reactant. So we have pyridine reacting with um, nitric acid. And if we, I mean, sorry, I already said uh, the acid, but if we monitor what happens to each of these, so meaning that what happens to this species and what happens to this species, we notice that this the nitrogen compared or the first species, so meaning the pyridine, is protonated, right? So it can it pro is protonated, it um, gains a proton, and the other species loses a proton. So in other words, it donates a proton. So the first species or the first reactant is a proton acceptor, the other one is a proton donor. Inherently, that means by the brownstead lowry definition of what an acid and a base is, that means this first species is our base, and the second species must be our acid. Right, because it's the proton donor, the first species is the proton acceptor in the reactor reaction, and hence it is the base. All right, and then subsequently on the right hand side, on the product side of the equilibrium, what forms is of course then a conjugate species. So the base forms a conjugate acid. Meaning the base that has been protonated by the acid that it reacted with forms a species that can act as an acid again. So meaning that it can in principle act as an acid. So that's why we call it a conjugate acid. So it itself now actually is a species that can protonate because this reverse reaction, um, if we monitor it, it is acting as the acid in the reverse manner, right? It is protonating the NO2 to form our um, reactants again, right? So, um, so that is why it is called our conjugate acid. All right, and just completing the, um, the whole system, our acid, it loses a proton, that's why it's our, it donates a proton, so that is why it's called our branched lowry acid, and it forms a conjugate pair, and its conjugate is called a conjugate base. All right, meaning this species on the right hand side is able to accept a proton again. So this conjugate acid and conjugate base react again to form the reactants. The reactants uh, react to form the product and that's why it forms an equilibrium. So you have an acid and a base forming an as conjugate acid and conjugate base and that forms an equilibrium. Okay, so a base forms a conjugate acid because the base is protonated and hence that proton that it gains makes that the thing that forms, the species that forms, can act as an acid. The acid donates a proton, means it loses a proton, hence the species that forms is a conjugate base and hence that means that species that forms can act as a base again. All right, that's per definition the Bronsted lowry definition of acids and bases. All right, so let's look at our second example. In this example, if we monitor where everything goes, so this first species, we notice it goes from N2H4 to N2H5+, so that means it's gaining a proton, so it's accepting a proton. 
So that means it must be the first species is of base and it forms a conjugate acid. Right, because the species on the right hand side can act as an acid, the one on the left hand side acted as a base. That makes the other species, you can see, yes indeed it donated its, its proton, so it on the left hand side it acts as an acid, on the right hand side it is a conjugate base. Right, so then we can see how these pairs link, right, and they always go in pairs, acid linked with conjugate base, okay, it's never con acid conjugate acid, it's always an acid with a conjugate base or a base with a conjugate acid, alright, because the acid conjugate pair or the conjugate pairs, they differ by one proton, right, notice how, for example, the bi the bicarb H CO3 minus differs with the carbonate anion CO32 minus by what? One proton. This proton over there. Okay. So that is what the difference is by definition. Your your um, Brown said Lowry conjugate pairs differ by one proton. Okay. So let's move on to the last pair um, and see what we can notice. So uh, this one might be a bit difficult uh, to initially see because we're actually looking at a, a water complex here, an aqua complex. But um, let's look at the one that's easiest to see. And it should be, well, um, this one. So the hydroxide, you can see the hydroxide is um, converted into water, right? So it means it goes from OH minus to H2O so it means it's gaining a proton and the species that accepts a proton gains a proton means that it is the base right the base forms a conjugate acid so let me just make a conjugate acid okay so that means the other species must be acting as an acid in some manner so that means this must be our acid on the left hand side right acid base gives us conjugate base conjugate acid so this must be a conjugate base that we have over here and we can actually see how it lost the proton because if you count the number of hydrogens over here you see there is um, H2 times 6 that's 12 and here you have H2 times 5. Let me just get my pointer so that you can actually follow where I'm pointing. Um, so here you have H2 times 5. That gives you 10 plus 1. That's 11, right? So we had H2 times 6. That was 12. All right, so you can see it donated its proton. That means it acted as the acid. All right, and that's conjugate acid-base pairs and how to identify them, how to write them. So of course the opposite is we need to be able to, uh, to like how to write them and how to know how to know which species is going to act as the acid and the base. That of course you will use your Ka and Kb values for. The point of this exercise was just to test whether or not we can identify acid base conjugate pairs. Alright. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.